Welcome back to the juice. Bang. We have a very special episode today with the none other than the man playing with Gabe Fanaki next year. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Vance, how the f- did you land that, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Well, um, how much money did you pay him? That's a, I, I can't disclose that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A lot, but <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, looking forward to it though. Yeah, <laughs> it's be hell should of a ride, be, bro. Yeah. Hell, hell of a hell backpack. Of a yeah, it'd be great. Zach's gonna carry him. His experience. Oh, that's what he meant, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, you'll be the backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. hopping in mine. Huh? He's hopping in my backpack. I don't think so, bro. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Better start working out those arms. Yeah. Grab, grab his back and hang on. Hang on for dear life. Yes, sir. All the way to get first rounded. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In the B bracket. In the B bracket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know you could never stop me, huh? Y'all be driving stick shift. This is auto. You know I'll turn it up. Mm-hmm. D the Nano. I wanna be up to be. You gotta see us to see. Put the whole house on it. You know that keen in his key. Squad so deep. Take a map just to find them all. And you know I'm about to eat like a Ryan Paul. Two tough, no rest crown. I wear it, huh? Big cut, big flex. Mm, my Garrett. Run the game around here. This is natural. And you know I got the touch like a mass pope. Spy lemonade. Spy lemonade. On the way to the top. Battle Hey, you need to relax, huh? Yeah, relax, Take it easy. Okay. All right. You're listening to Spike Lemonade, the only Roundnet podcast that squeezes out all the juice in the Roundnet community right now. I'm Mespo, joined by the wonderful Josh D. And we have a very special guest today. Some of you may know him. Some of you new guys may not know him. He is a Man of the Year award winner. <laughs> he is a professional spiker. There's no other words to really introduce it, really. I mean, he's just the greatest human out of <laughs> Delaware, in my opinion. Zach Vance. Hey, thank you. Quite the introduction, thanks. I try. I try. Yeah, that was nice. Thanks for coming on, bro. Of course. Uh, we've had the pleasure of getting to hang with you, get closer with you as a person, um, as a player, and some things in between, a Philadelphia Union fan, Indeed. Uh, a common love of soccer. We see you're sporting the Man U. We're gonna cover. We're gonna cover it all from your background. I know your background is in soccer. Uh, growing up, um, so two phases. Phase one, for those who don't know you, let's talk just a little bit about you, where you came from. I know you've lived a handful of places. You've spiked a handful of places. Give me the Reader's Digest version of where you came from and to. Till now. Yeah, so I came from a town in California, like Central Valley, called Merced. It's like basically known for being next to Yosemite, which is kind of cool. Um, that's where me and my like partner Marlon started playing spike ball. Um, I lived there for like the time I was twelve till like twenty seventeen, and then moved to Delaware. I've lived there like ever since, and it's been pretty fun living in Delaware. But you know, just traveling, playing spike ball. Uh, been like pretty much all over the country and stuff like that. It's been a lot of fun. Nothing too crazy, but you how know, about your, ath- your athletic background? Did uh, you play sports in high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I played like soccer my whole life. Basically, I played a lot of competitive. Um, started out playing like forward and things like that, midfield defense, and then I started playing goalie. Played uh, indoor soccer as a goalkeeper. Um, it was like kind of professionally as professional as it gets, which is not very, but. Then I played a lot of like tennis as well in high school. I played varsity all four years. Um, play a lot of volleyball as well. So a lot of like hand eye stuff, you know. So yeah. it's helpful for spike ball, which is kind of sick. But absolutely yeah. sick. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of goalie, like soccer goalie backgrounds in the spike ball world. Yeah, yeah, they get down, bro. It's kind of crazy. The body defense is nice, you know, and things like that. It translates and, well. Yeah, it translates really well. The only thing is hitting is 
especially for me, it's like a little bit of a struggle for them. But yeah, if you only played goalie, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, for sure. It's funny now you say it. It just hit me. If you if if you're watching this now, uh, Zach Spike IG is the, is the meek freak, all one <laughs> word. And his most recent post, he has an ace that he hits. And it's funny because you have this high toss which you lead into your cut serve. Yeah. And it's funny because now I think about it, I didn't know about the tennis. It's kind of like a toss for your tennis Yeah, serve. yeah, exactly. So maybe you have some muscle memory with that that leads yeah. to you being somewhat consistent. <laughs> that stupid-ass <laughs> serve. <laughs> it always gets everybody up. The fact that you can drop and cut and reverse and backhand and flango out of it yeah. is wild. <laughs> is wild. That's a crazy. I've thing. never seen anybody do something like that. <laughs> That's a yeah. Don't be seven. Don't be fourteen feet away from this. Yeah, guy. or yeah. be more than that. Don't, because there's options with when he tosses the ball high. Okay, so uh, how'd you find the game? Tell us um, how you found the game. Yeah, so I started playing spike ball because uh, my friend Marlon, my best friend, so I bring him up a lot. Um, he went on a missions trip for our church to Mexico, where they build houses and stuff for people that don't have them. And uh, someone there decided to bring spike ball with them for them to do like afterwards. Yeah. And normally I'd go on the trip, but I didn't for some reason. I think I had work or something. But he brought it back. And I was like, yo, like this is sick. We have to play. And it's like a lot of fun, blah, blah, blah. So we played with like people in our youth group at the time. Um, we were both in college already. And I remember we would just pretty much shit on everyone. It was so funny. And we were like, we're kind of sick at this. And then I uh, was looking into it some more and we saw like – uh, YouTube videos of people playing and I I remember thinking like these guys are not athletic like we could beat the crap out of them like they're so bad and I'm like showing Marlon and he's like yeah like they're not that athletic like we're way more athletic and then we go to our first tournament in Santa Monica it was like a grand slam I think what year ish uh this was 2016 okay and uh we play there we lost every single pool play game I destroyed a net by diving on top of it and then we played the first round against Buddy Hammond, who was like the number two team at the time as Handsome Beavers. Yeah, super unathletic. Yeah, yeah super so unathletic these guys guy. Are so unathletic. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, we got beat by him and his partner like twenty one five or something, two Holy games. Crap. Yeah, we got smoked and we were just like, Yo, we can't be this bad. Like there's no way. Like we have to keep playing. So then we kinda started grinding and then um uh, played uh, Nationals that year, which was in Washington D C, which was a lot of fun. We it was like that's like when Spike was like kind of blowing up, and it was still a lot more fun than it is now per se. You know, like people were kind of we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll get into that. People were getting uh, hyped about it. You know, like that was like probably one of the sickest highlight videos was two guys versus uh, uh, Chico Spikes because yep. Chico never really lost a tournament except for like a handful of times, but never lost nationals, and that was like one of the sickest series ever. You know. And then uh, Chico after the, Spikes, and just for the listener too, Chico Spikes made up of Skyler Bowles and Sean Boyer, and then uh, two guys was Preston Bias and Troy Mock. So okay. two, yep. four OGs basically. You know, none of them play anymore. Yeah. Um, and then 2017 was like the year. I think it was 2017, maybe 2018, the year that they first had premiere, and all these teams got it automatically, and we were one of the first teams. So it was, they gave it to three teams at the time. If you podiumed, you got it. We were the third place team that got it at the first tournament that they offered it so i've been premier like ever since so it's pretty That's sick pretty cool yeah, yeah i haven't yeah. lost it haven't lost it thankfully held so, on to it at the championship i know there's been talks of it you i believe ezra dantowitz is also up there yeah ezra dantowitz i know the models lost it um tyler chiswick still has it ryan fitzgerald so do you know who the longest running active premier player is um technically it could be Tyler or Ryan, I think, because they've had it for the tournament that I earned it, right? So they would have mm, it one time Buddy? over. Buddy dropped for one year. He didn't play spike ball at all, I'm pretty mm. sure. Mm. Um, I don't know if he lost it, but, you know, whatever. I'll just keep playing and <laughs> see if I can outlast him because I know he's not going to play that much this year and stuff. So, But, you know, it's it's – still like quite a bit of a list but it's dwindling slowly so yeah take what i can get so i gotta hold on to it for as long as i can 2025 zach vance is going to be the longest running active premier player yes sir that'd be pretty hopefully good. that'd, that'd be, be sick cool, yeah cool honor yeah yeah i like that you have something yeah here, so we talked about it? um you getting into the sport and getting introduced to the sport how about getting introduced to us yeah what were your one do you remember the first time you met us it was probably separate times 
And two, what were your, I guess, first impressions? Okay. Yeah, great question. Good question for sure. Um, I know I met you at a tournament I hosted. I think the earliest I can remember is Robbinsville. Um, to be honest, I was doing so much or mm -hmm. not, not enough, honestly, probably, but I wasn't, didn't really think of it much at the time. I remember you guys had jerseys and I was like, they're kind of bad to be having jerseys. That's <laughs> um, true. That's <laughs> so true. Which it, is, was our, it was our college it was, it was player jerseys. It was me and Corey in yeah, yeah. that Robbinsville uh, attorney. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's such a great thing. Um, it was pretty funny. Kind of bad view. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, I, I, I liked you guys. Uh, I thought you guys were cool, and then I thought, oh, they could be good. I, I thought you were really athletic, and then Corey was just there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Corey catches um, um, Do you remember? That you had my net for like the longest yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I remember you messaged me on GroupMe and I was like, this guy's really messaged me on GroupMe <laughs> to get his net back. And Dude, I had to give I you my number. My net, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to give it to someone to give to you, actually, I think. Yeah. Who was, was that? It? Who did you, who did he have? It was probably Connor. Connor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had him my net for a long time. I was like, this random guy from Delaware who was in one corner. Yeah. Who, who doesn't even play. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's got my net. Or I'm never going to get it back. Not spend another hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fair. Um, when did we meet, Josh? I'm trying to remember. It had to have been a West Effort pickup. Pick up, yeah, it had to be something I, like I that. I also played in a tournament, but we said all of sec like two seconds of words to each other. Uh, I don't remember even really like a formal "How are you?" Yeah, yeah. So it had to be West Effort for sure. Um, one of the times I do remember meeting you was pickup, and then uh, you had really good right to left, and I said, "Oh, I've." I forget who we were talking with or who we were playing with, but I was like, watch out. It's kind of like Ryan Moreno. And you were like, like, oh, that's big. I like that. You know, yeah, it was I was great, like, it was it's quick, great, you know, it was a great compliment. And I was like, dang. And then Gabe came over and he was like, dude, that's it's nothing. Crazy. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, was yeah. Dying. I was like, yeah, get out of here. Bro. I tried to defend myself and he was like, you're dumb. <laughs> Why are you saying that? <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's hilarious. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Basically, he was trying to give a guy we were playing with at the time, like a little bit of a read that I'm going to try and get you. I'm going to try and go left and right on you quickly. Yeah. And uh, so he was giving him like a read. And then Gabe was just trying to sh sh shit on, no, right on my Not at all. Classic Gabe, honestly. Yeah, classic Gabriel. If Gabe is one person, he's a bully. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, fair. that's facts first and foremost oh yeah so that's how you got to know each of us um yeah i mean we can talk more about the lemon lads but it'll kind of come up as we yeah, go for sure uh playing wise we just we referenced you were a pro level player when was that um how did you earn it and give me just a little bit about that season what year yeah. it was yeah it was a uh, 2019 um I was kind of trying to figure out who I wanted to play with. I was kind of bouncing around a bunch because I played uh, with Marlon when I was living in California. And then uh, I kind of wanted to like branch out because I was getting more into it than he was. And for us to play together like across the country is a little tough, you know. Um, so then I played with Cam Chiswick in 2018. I didn't like that very much. He's a good guy, but we just didn't uh, do very well. Is and that I thought, any relation to Tyler Chiswick? Yeah, yeah, that's his brother. It's his brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no relation. No relation at all. Yeah, just brought him up. Um, but so then 2019, I was like bouncing around trying to find someone. I was playing uh, a lot of like just random people, you know, just looking. And then me and Coleman played a tournament together, Coleman Epperson. And uh, we did pretty well. I think it was, uh, I want to say North Carolina we played. And uh, we... Made it to the round of eight. We ended up playing Trippy Lizard, which was Andrew Card and Clark Marshall at the time. And they were like a number four team. And so we kind of like decided like, yo, we should keep running it. You know, like we're kind of good together and we like get hyped and stuff. And he, he's a good server. And um, we uh, decided just to run the season. And that was like pretty big for us because we were like, I want to say a crowd favorite in general because like I like to yell, Coleman gets hyped and then. We get an ace, we're yelling bang, slapping each other's shirt and stuff like that. It was super fun. And then we also pretty big on like blocking on one because there was no no hit zone. And so uh, Coleman, we started calling it bean blocks because Coleman would just get them all the time where he would just stick his hand out in front of someone and just hit his hand and back down and off. I remember one game in particular in Chicago. We were playing against Trippy Lizard, I think, and he got like four in a row basically. And it was just like, this is absurd that... This Damn, just keeps happening. Guys are, yeah, it had to, to be a cylinder. <laughs> it had to be a cylinder. Oh, yeah, for sure. But this was like before they even had that. And, you know, because people would stick their foot out. I don't know if you know who Cahooters is. It's 
Brian Bilgeron and Jacob Pear, they would always stick their foot in people's like arms, and I was just like, bro, you can't let them do that because if you hit their arm, you know, yeah. or their leg, like to your point, also it's just super dangerous because yeah. you can break your hand pretty easily. Foot's tougher than a hand generally. Yes. Um. So, anyways, then we, uh, you know, kept playing together. We did pretty well in a few other tournaments. Um, ended up qualifying just barely. Um, by by points. Uh, I think it was us. Uh, Sam Buckman's team. It was Sam Buckman, Warren Foot, Three Crowns, and uh, Power Sweep, which was Addison and uh, Addison. Micah. And so we. Uh, pa- Micah who? Oh, uh, Micah Corbett and Addison Powers. Addison Powers. Yeah, yeah sorry. I don't know Micah Corbett. Yeah, old head. Um, yeah. But uh, old we head. ended up sliding in there and getting like the 18 seed, I think, which was so good. There were 18 know? pro teams in 2019. Right now tripping? Oh, wait, 16. I'm tripping. I, I counted wrong. So we would have been 13, I think. Was it 16 teams? It was 16 You're asking the year. wrong people. It was, it was 16, we it was 16 not that year, too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My bad, my bad. Uh, it was 16. So I think we were either 14 or 13. And uh, so then we ended up having a pool of, it was us, so Global Beans, uh, Shake and Bake, which is David Gonzalez and Matt Bonin, uh, Caleb Heck and Preston Bias, which their team name was uh, Boisterous. Boisterous. And then uh, Cahooters, Jacob Pear and Ryan Bilgeon. That's an awesome name. <laughs> yeah, Cahooters? Yeah, it's an awesome <laughs> yeah. team name. Yeah, they had the um, Drake and Josh like arrows on there and paint splash. They had cool jerseys. Mm, that's sweet. Yeah. Um, did pretty well. We ended up drawing Trippy Lizard, because I, which was tough for us because I lived in Tennessee at the time. And we would practice with them all the time, and they literally beat us every tournament that we went to together. We played them; it was ridiculous. We played them like probably like five or six times that season, oh. which is so annoying. Yeah, that's freaking annoying. Um, just luck of the draw, you know how it goes. Um, but uh, we ended up losing to them, but it was a good time. I I like playing with Coleman. Uh, he caught a lot of flack the next season and stuff, but it was sick because people just like like cheering for us and rooting for us in general. Had a semis run at North Carolina tournament. Um, things like that. So it was a lot of fun. That is fun. Now you made mention to him catching flack. What What are you referencing in 2020? He caught flack for what? Uh, he just he kind of became a villain. <laughs> um, yeah, people just didn't like him for whatever reason as much. Um, yeah, I don't know. He he would play with Olivia. They would do well, and then people just were just upset about it or whatever. But um, maybe it was like bad calls or you know, his attitude or something, but, you know, I don't think he was that bad of a guy. I think he was just, he just started fulfilling the villain arc, you know, classic, like Noah Luskus vibes and stuff. Um, but yeah. So as you worked through like your, your early days, let's talk about villains. You've played now with a handful of players. Have you ever felt targeted by a handful of bad calls from anybody in particular? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, it's there's, a self officiated sport, so... <laughs> You've gotten hammered by yeah, a few yeah. players? There's a few times. I mean, um, I feel like Utah people kind of suck. I hate playing against Utah people. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's, uh, a, what's the worst experience you've had? Yeah, have you had like, one where you're like, dang, this really Ooh, sucks? One I, that you really remember. Yeah, I played against... Uh, it was Tyler Stokes and Anthony... Uh, I think his last name is Clifford. Different guy than... Every time I say that last name, someone's like, oh, this guy? I'm like, no, not him. Different guy. Okay. Um, but I just remember we were playing on sand, which is definitely rare now, you know, for a tournament in San Diego. And I served at him. And this was back when the ruling was like, it had to be like outstretched hand. So it wasn't shoulder, right? So it's like, it you, like, the, yeah, like up here. you standing yeah, yeah. up, outstretched hand. And I remember uh, serving at them and um, they called high and i was just like there's no way this was ridiculous like absurd that you would do this and they're like well we heard you're kind of a rule shark and i was like so i play by the rules and that's a problem like i don't understand so they took like one for me and then next one the normal thing for sand like when people are serving close was like you like don't say anything right away you like lay down make the mark in the sand if you're like six foot because it was six feet back then too and you like check like Oh, like, see, you were close here. He's like, oh, you have to call it right away. And I was like, well, I, I did. You know, I like walked over and double checked. And I'm like, no, we're taking it. And I was like, what? Like, what are you doing? Like, no, we disagree. You have to redo it. And like, no, no, we're taking it. It's like, this is absurd. where was this tournament? This, this was tour- San Diego. This tournament took place in San Diego. Yeah, like okay, twenty. Okay. I want to say twenty eighteen, maybe twenty seventeen, probably twenty eighteen. 
and I was just getting pissed. Was there was there the option to have observers at that point? Was it something uh, they could have called for? Could have, but it was like kind of like people don't want to do it. You have to ask people, and then you know, like it's like no one really wants to necessarily because yeah. they rather watch like the big games and things like that. And um, yeah, I got you. It, it in my mind is like it doesn't matter that much because like. I'm better than them, so I'm gonna win. <laughs> like right, and, um, you, and you did. Right? Yeah, really yeah. I ended up it. serving like three in a row aces, and I just I remember I screamed my head off because I was just like, bah! like <laughs> yeah, suck it. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just get in the face, but dude, dude, do we got to talk about the origin story of this of the of the meek because I know we we talked about it briefly because you uh, brought up a great question when we were doing our like our lemons giving podcast, but like. <clears throat> You're one of the most loud and obnoxious players <laughs> I've ever seen. And then I said, oh, well, what's up with the meek freak? You know, it kind of rhymes maybe because he's loud and he's a, a little bit abrasive when he plays. He goes, no, it's, meek means, you know, you're kind of like mild tempered. So I'm very meek. And I was like, well, no, you're not. So what, where, where, where did this come from? You know, I don't know. Like, I have like a church background. And uh, there's like this thing where like uh, God... Like, he comes for the meek, you know, like the humble and like people who are like, you know, uh, how'd you, how'd you put it again? Like, like mild, mild tempered. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like came for the weak and stuff like that. And so I kind of felt like when I was growing up, I was like, I was tiny going into like senior year. I weighed 65 pounds was like five, two at most, you know? Yeah. You were, uh, you were bone thin. Yeah. Bone thin. I got blown over by the wind playing tennis, like jump serving. It was so funny. Um, <laughs> So I kind of felt like I was like, oh, like kind of, you know, smaller meek, you know. So then in high school, I came up with the name, the meek freak, and then kind of just stuck. And then I started like doing spike ball stuff and people kind of knew that handle, you know. So I was like, ah, I can't change it now. Gotta like, keep it. Gotcha. Gotta keep it. Okay, yeah. okay. But, speaking of teams, what a, or speaking of names, where the heck did Global Beans come from? <laughs> so Coleman like brought me a list of names and was like, Here, here's some like racing horses names. <laughs> we can go with these or we can go with global beans. And he was just like, he was like, you can pick one. And I was like, okay. Like, I mean, I guess global beans, you know, like I, I don't really know where that's from, but I'll take it. He's like, okay, I love that one. It, it turns out he like really wanted global beans, but he was just like, didn't want to tell me that's what he wanted. He gave me all these other options. Where did he, do you know where he came up with it? I have no idea. You didn't ask. Zero clue. No, I didn't you just ask. thought as a partner going on this team, making pro, it's like, yeah, global beats. Yeah, why not? Obviously. You know? Yeah. At the time we didn't think we'd make pro necessarily, so it wasn't like that big a deal or even like stick together as a team, you know? Like right. we just thought, oh, we're playing this one tournament, what should our team name be? And right. it's global beans. Is but, he is he into horse racing? He gave you a bunch of horses. I think name? so, yeah, yeah. Okay, I am too. He's, I he's to. a bit of a gambler, I think. So Yeah, that's I didn't know that. That's really <laughs> cool. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot that you are too, huh? Yeah. No. What what was the most you said you won? Yeah, we did all right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, dude, that's crazy though. Global beans. Uh, we have a text into, who do we have a text into on your phone? You texted, we're waiting for a call. Oh, back Caleb from. Heck. Caleb Heck. Yeah. Uh, maybe in a little bit we'll text and be like, yo, what do you think ETA on the, on the chat? We got something. Yeah. yeah. Up for I can you do that. Cause we, cause we can get him on. That's so on the spot. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if he yeah, says can, no, it's we wild. Can edit. If it says no, it's also good. It's also fun. Nah, dude, I hate editing. <laughs> Might as well just keep it raw. Yeah. That's Bro, true. That's better, bro. Okay. Uh, I do have something, though. <laughs> um, yeah, go, bro, go. Dang, we got a fan so question. I have a, no, no fan questions. I have a segment that I have an idea of. Um, this was inspiration from the Goatcast podcast. Uh, classic. This kid's not even listening to me. I'm listening. I'm trying to get his attention. The Goatcast podcast. They did a segment called Lost in Translation. Uh, do you listen to the Goatcast? Sometimes, not often. Yeah. Do you know the Go Cast? I think I've listened to a couple. Yeah. And so it's called Lost in Translation. Basically, they take these, he took words or names of whatever, and Google translated it to a different language <laughs> and then translated it back to English, and it would be a little different. Oh, interesting. So I did the same thing, but okay. with Spike Ball Pro Teams. <laughs> and we're going to see. That's if cool. you guys can guess the proteins based on the translation that was lost in all these different languages. Okay. So we have the different language or back to English? Right? It's going to be back, back in English. Oh, but gotcha. I'll tell you what it got translated to. Gotcha. There's some easier ones. Okay. 
Um, apparently, spike ball team names aren't that creative when it comes to words. It's usually just mashed up simple words okay. like global beans. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna global say. Beans. I tried to translate global beans in every other language, and it always came back as global beans. Hey, we're consistent. Consistent. <laughs> Are, so how how do you want, how are you setting it up? Are we working together as a team to try and get them all? Or are we going to try and? It's up to you guys. You want to do a competition? You guys want to work together? I love competition. competition. Competition it is. So, I'll start with. All right. So round one out of six. Okay. You can all go right. first. You can go first. I'll go first, and then if I get, can't get it, you can steal yeah. it. How about that? Yeah, I like that. Oh, we're gonna do. Each, not yeah. like a uh, kind of thing. Like whoever gets it first. I mean, if you think you can, you want to go fast. I mean, or whoever just says it first. Maybe. Oh, whoever okay. says it first. Okay. okay. Here we we go. go with that. Yeah, we yeah. Go with that. Whoever says it first. This is from <laughs> translated from the German language and translated back into English. It came up as Decision Day. Judgment Day. Oh, fudge. Ooh, Dang. that was quick. That was quick. That was yeah. an easy one. We're gonna oh, start yeah. out easy and we're gonna come back. Yep. So that's one Josh. I could go zero six for, for six. Zachary Scott. I could go six for six. With Italian. Okay. English to some Italian other, to English. Land. Immaculate. Spotless. Oh, spotless. Spotless Dang. it is. I could go six for six. That is two for Josh, zero for so Zachary Scott. I think we're Scott. working together on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can switch to We'll that. see by the yeah, end. No, by the end. We can switch. We can switch. From... English to French. Okay. Back to English. Contact support. Got it. Am I saying it? Yeah. Just yeah. of touch. Oh, wow. Dang, Josh is kind of sick of this. That's three for Josh and zero for Mr. Van. Yeah. What is happening? He's coming back. Over. He's gonna, no, once, they get, once they get really hard, he's going to get them. I'm getting the easy there ones. There are three, three more, right? One, two, three. Yeah, I counted right. This so three fun. more. Okay. Come back. I don't know what I'm going to do for a tiebreaker. This is a good segment. It's a great segment. <laughs> All right. From English to Polish, back to English. Boyish. Boisterous? Yes. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> that was hot. Bo- boyish. Boyish. Dude, I don't know boisterous. how they got this. Yeah, okay. Boisterous can't All be right. a real word, right? These two are it hard. Is. It is. Oh, really? I think so. Like loud. And oh, like... yeah, that's fair. Okay. These next two are tough. Okay. When these Three, came one. back, as this, I had no idea what these words are. So, from English to Chinese, back to English, biter. Biter? As biter. In, as in your mouth, like biting something? Biter. <sighs> biter. Is it a current spike ball team? Can we ask questions? Can we ask yes or no questions? No. That was just a yes or no question. <laughs> That's true. Biter. It, Biter. I said in the beginning, these are pro spike ball teams. Okay. Using contest clues, I've already said some new teams, and I've said some old teams. That's fair. Okay. okay. Biter. Biter. These guys don't listen. Biter. Golly. Bad combo? No. Ooh, that's a good guess. Biter. Uh, Tough. I'm going to have to give Zach one guess because you guessed. Okay. So, Zach, give a guess. Are you going to give I'll, a I'll hint? give a hint. Okay. Thank you, Commander. Um, Dang. Biter. What the fudge? I'll just go Prince because I don't know. Yeah. Prince? Yeah, I had a guess. I, I didn't like want to say here. The Prince in any other language will come back as Prince. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, 2020. 20, Three pro team. Rogue? Yes. Let's go. Really? Rogue came back as Biter That's from Chinese. Dude, more like bitter. <laughs> Two to three. Zach needs Two to three. one more. I just need one more. To Damn tie it, it up and go to an overtime. This goes from English to Dutch. Back to English. <laughs> Dutch. Freaky deaky Dutch. The word is Sweeze. S-W-E-A-S. Swervy? No. Dang. S W E A S. So you have to wait for yeah. him to guess. S W E A S. I'm going to see if I can find a definition on that. W E A S. Oh, he's yeah, getting I mean, definitions? I... No, for both of you. For both okay. Hmm. 
Yeah. So I, I mean, I should probably guess before the definition. Give a guess. Right? Give a guess. I'll say twins. No. So this, when I put it in Google Translate, from English to Dutch to English, this is what came up. This isn't a real word. Swedes. Is- Swiss. S W E A S is not a real word. So you just looked at the definition and it doesn't exist. Does not exist. But we're gonna roll with it anyway. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the hint is a twenty twenty two pro team. Rito boys. No. Uh, the word is squeeze. I feel like, like uh, on Jimmy Fallon, the password is <laughs> squeeze. Double clutch. No. Oh, dang. <laughs> I figured maybe they'd have a weird definition. Uh, now it's open one back up to both of you. Both of you can guess. Okay. We get another hint. Sloppy seconds. No. Fungulo. <laughs> that was that's twenty twenty one. Pro team. What? Sloppy, sloppy seconds is twenty twenty one. Yeah. What was? Oh, M- was twenty twenty two. Yeah, play together. Yeah, that's true. You got it. The that's floor. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze a word that means nothing. <laughs> the word that's not a word. And it was Dutch? Does anybody From know? From Dutch, yeah. 2022 pro team. Creamy? No. Dang. Um, another hint. <laughs> they wore white jerseys on championship <gasps> Saturday. I got it. Yeah. Cruise control. Nope. Oh, that's a good guess. Dang. You're just going to hit yourselves when you... White jerseys? White jerseys. Didn't, I didn't I think play didn't Buddy Hammond wear a white jersey? No, he wore his assistive touch jersey. Switch hit from the crowd? It is not. They didn't wear white. They did not. I will say that's on the right track, though. It's on the right track. For 2022? It's on the right track. (gasps) Oh, my God. I think I got it. I just have to think of the name. Wasabi. No. (laughs) It would have been my guess. Also on the right track. Oh, it's open to anybody now. Guess uh, if you think you got it on the yeah, right you track. You got it. Any get? He said switch hit. Come on, um, twenty twenty two. He said swervy. Can we? Add, does it start with an S? Yes. It starts with an S. It starts with an S. Frick. No, it, start, it starts that. with an S. What the? F- starts with an S. Not so they obviously didn't finish not top four. Creamy, not, not cruise control not was cruise third. Cruise control. Cruise control beat double. No, no. Cruise control beat who for? Swervy. Swervy. Not, no. Who did oh they yeah. beat for third Swervy, and fourth? Cruise control. Assistive touch. They beat Swervy. Wasabi. Swervy lost to assistive oh, yeah, touch. Yeah, 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 right. uh, double clutch. This is crazy. This is crazy. Are they American team? Is it an American team? No. Oh. Frick. Is it a Canadian team? Yes. Yeah, it is. I can't remember the name, though. A Canadian? Strong, not Strong Flush, right? Nope. Yeah. Uh, That's too old. Is the is either player on that team a pro player this year? Yes. Vinny? Yeah. Was Vin, what? Vinny was on Wasabi. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh. So who else was a pro Canadian player? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> I just got it. And I freaking can't believe this just happened to me. But now I've lost it. I don't know the teams well enough. Come I know. On, I know it. Hold on. No, I Do you want me to tell no, you no, the no, people on the no, team? No, 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 That's going to be so embarrassing. This is taking so long. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Hold on. Bro. There are definitely people listening who know it. Bro. Who? who Shot clock them? Who, who did? What was the team that uh, Canadian. fucking Blake played on last year? Oh, f- fudge. Blake, Bozak, and his brother, right? Oh, or, Wonky, wonky sauce. sauce. Nope. Dang. Oh, that's not an S. What? That's not an S, bro. It wasn't wonky sauce. sauce. Starts with an S. Starts with an S. Canadian. Answer the question. White jerseys. Too long. Yeah, we're, we're going to have Two to words. We'll have Two words. The hell out of Two this. words. Uh, dude, there's... SW. I don't know. I don't know. it. Is, is there a chance we just I'm don't so know I'm so sorry. It? I'm so sorry to everybody listening. <laughs> there, may, there may be a chance we don't know it. They won Championship Sunday this year. Oh, Swamp Donkey. Yes. Dang, that's crazy. I forgot. Swamp Donkeys? Swamp Donkeys. Came back as an unrealistic word. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. Tie. 
If you it is a 2019 team, I get it. Three, three. Okay. And for the tiebreaker, we are going to, I'm going to put it into Google Translate. Okay. And I put it into Norwegian. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it comes back as something different. Mm. All right. <laughs> There's three Ready? Canadian teams. Okay. Bro. Ready? Yeah. High voltage. Critical hit. Nope. High voltage. I can't go till you go. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> Take my time. No, you can't. You got uh, ten seconds. Mermaid Sparkle. No. <laughs> High voltage mermaid sparkle. It could be <laughs> polar sparkle opposites. Sparkle could have been polar <laughs> opposites. <laughs> Is it a current team? 2023 Pro Team. 2023. Profit Boost? No. Ooh. Well, what was Blake Bozak's team? No. Is that your guess? I don't even remember. Five seconds, Zach, before it opens back up. Uh... You just open it back up. It's open up. High voltage. Is it obvious? Should we know it? Once you hear it, you'll think it's pretty obvious. Critical hit. Does it start with an H? No. It's pretty literal to what it is. Yeah, okay. Shit. High voltage. Why is this so hard? Do you guys know? Are you guys laughing? You know From the audience? Jake knows. It is RCG Powerline. Oh, so the Benny Bachelor and Nelson Druzini. They played Pro Division? Wow, they, you're really showing your RCG, age. RCG, I don't RCG know. You're really showing your age, Zach. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> that's crazy. That is actually crazy. Are they Canadian? How did, uh, no, they're from Europe. How did they do oh, it? How did yeah, they do it in Pro Division, know. by the way? Do we know? Not too great, I believe. Do you think they do you think they went 0 and 6, maybe? And uh, I don't think they went 0 and 6. How'd they get in Pro Division? Do you want to make a Europe. wager on that? Really? Uh, oh. Friendly wager? Bet you they went 0 and 6. How much you want to bet? You can name it. A dime. Yeah, I'll pull it up. All right. You're pulling it up, Jake? Jake's pulling it up. All right, so we have our... our... If, if they went 0 and 6, you have to refer to them as RCG Powerballs. Okay. Powerballs. Okay. So we well, should get I a computer guy. You know on those podcasts? Yeah, with, like, Zach. Theo Zach Vaughn. said he wants to do it. Yeah, as our like, computer graphics yeah. guy? Oh, for yeah. sure? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. You know, you ever see like, Theo Vaughn? He's like, hey, Riley, pull up. <laughs> pull up a squirrel climbing up a tree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this yeah. is the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. I was listening to one the other day, and it was just like, "Can you pull up drink?" <laughs> and it was just like, "Drink, just drink," because they were. He wanted to know like what alcoholic drinks he was trying to think of. He's like, "Pull up drinks." <laughs> just like, what? Well, what am I supposed to do? Drinks. So it could be like Zach, pull up the Fuango. Yeah, yeah. That's That'd actually be so funny. Oh six. Oh, uh, RCG Powerball. Crazy. Oh six. No wonder I didn't know that. for twenty twenty three. <laughs> Zach didn't even know who RCG Powerballs was. That's, I don't know the whole Europe getting a. Pro bit is insane, <laughs> but I mean, like the team like ES, like they obviously deserve it. They yeah, played, they played unbelievably well. I think Powerline was like number two, pretty much for the whole season. In terms it, of they were the second best team in Europe, I would say it was them, and then there was also those. Oh, who was it? Hustling Brothers Hustling were up there brothers, too. Brothers, I feel like was consistently better than them. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why does this Don't keep doing this? Yeah. It's a great song, but it just keeps randomly playing. Uh, Never Cold, I feel like, would beat them on occasion. I feel like I saw a few results. But who the heck knows? Yeah, if only we were in Europe. Uh, all right, so I'm down to go to Europe. That'd be sick. Yeah, let's go. They have their schedule. Let's I'll bring our Let's bring our podcast to Europe. Oh yeah. So our computer and we'll bring our computer guy along easily. The yeah. computer guy is actually going to haul all the equipment. He's going to pay for all the checked bags with <laughs> Whoa, all the equipment, hey. and then we're just going to go and host, right? Yeah, that's just that's how it works. It is. You're like our PA now. You're, yeah, yeah. You're our production uh, sure, assistant. Sure. So we got to bring you on and have you start doing that ASAP. The plan for the podcast: keep upgrades at this internal, like a uh, middle meet, middle, middle point. Yeah, spot. yeah. Kyle, we're in his place now. Keenan's key. Kyle Keenan, Keenan is key. Yes, wherever he goes, we will follow him. If Brandon gets a place and he allows us to use a room, 
We may land there. We were going to do it at Jake's house, but he has a uh, part pit bull that has that bites people. Oh, yeah. He I think I've like heard. People. Yeah. Like people. Um, but, I've been bitten before. It would have been fine. Yeah, that's kind of what I said, too. Then you see the dog, and then you go, maybe I'll <laughs> yeah. uh, I think she'd warm up to me. That's what I thought about Travis Core's dog. I mean, over time, let, what happened? It, like, let me pet him, and it's he has like a whole thing where it says like nervous dog, like don't pet, and like he let me pet him, and it was like fine. He was like, "Whoa, this is like big," you know. And he's like taking a picture. He's like, "This is sick." And then uh, I went and played pick up with him one day, and I was like, "Oh, we're friends now," and, you know. And I go up to his dog, and he just did not like me. He got me right away. Wow. <laughs> I had people coming up to me like, "You need to report that dog." And I was like, "That's eh, my friend's dog," and they're like, "No, you need to report." And I was like, "That's no, dangerous." Yeah, yeah I'm that's... not gonna do that. It was my own fault, you know. And Travis is like, "You're such a good guy, bro. Like, thank you. Like, you're such a good guy." And I was Report like, it's that not a big deal. Dog, right? <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. People just make sure he's, she's had her rabies shots and stuff. You know, like send me that. I would love to know. <laughs> you think Travis Core yeah. trained the dog to do that? Probably. You heard it here first. He Travis Core <laughs> trains dogs to bite people. <laughs> I saw him this weekend actually in Atlanta. Oh yeah? Yeah. No way, really? Yeah, he's look like watching the competition and stuff because he works nearby. Pretty sick to see him, you know. He's, Just watching? Yeah, yeah. He was saying how he thinks uh, spike ball players aren't as good anymore as they used to be. Kind of a spicy take. That's a hot take. It was spicy. Interesting. Yeah. I actually don't think if he played last year, he would have made the pro division. He played with Fred in Atlanta, mm-hmm. and they didn't do too hot. Well, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's also Travis score. Yeah. So I feel like those are two pro players that, his, that didn't do well. Yeah. In the Atlanta field? I, I think his take is bad. Could be. I think the game's getting gotten gotten a lot better. Yeah, with the players survey. like Gabe and Marino, like those are top tier athletes in my opinion. Like way more athletic than Travis Core. Ooh, I would have challenged him to I don't think so. I think Travis is one of the more athletic people. I think Gabe and Travis are equally athletic, but You don't think Marino's just as athletic? No, I think I think Marino's athletic, but I don't think he's the same kind of athlete that Travis and Gabe are. Like if I had to play other sports, I would not necessarily pick Ryan Moreno. You know what I mean? Like if You're I'm playing about soccer, so athleticism that translates over yeah. sports. Yeah, that's because when I think at an at, like athletic ability, I think of like multiple sports. Like you have the capability. Yeah. But we are talking about spike ball. Here. Spike ball. That's so fair. athletic <clears throat> in round net. Marino yeah. is. I think Marino's Mar- quicker than Gabe. That's a huge athletic feat to be. Do you think speed directly correlates to athleticism though? Yes. I think it's a part of athleticism, but I don't necessarily... Definitely a part. It's a part. There's a punch that goes into it. There's like speed, yeah. I think hand eye. quickness, agility, hand-eye. What's the difference between quickness and agility? I think agility is more side-to-side side and quickness is like how like your first step. Okay. Like agility is how that. quick you could change directions. Quickness is how quick, quick you get, get started. started. Overall speed, just yes. running down balls. Yeah. Power and strength. Um, vert, you're jumping. Yeah. Um, hand eye. I think that Travis Core could probably. I think Travis was probably the most athletic person to play spike ball until uh, Gabe started playing, or it was like more well known rather. But... I know he's huge into the training, and he's like a yeah. PT, right? Yeah, he's a PT. He, like works for like a big. Yeah, he knows PT the human company. body. Yeah, faux show. And he like works out and stuff like that. And he played college basketball, you know, D one school, I think. But you know, he's a pretty athletic guy, but. A lot of spike ball people aren't that athletic. IMO in general, they're That's like true. serve ballers or I'd say so. things like that. People that play defense are athletic, but if you just serve, like, doesn't mean you're an athlete. You know? Yeah. It's like uh, golfers or you know, like pitchers are athletes generally, but if you get like um, the mechanic down, like you're not necessarily having to do a whole lot of thinking and you know things like that. I think it's the same like spike ball. If you can get the like motion down and you can do it every time like you're going to be really good tiger yep. woods is he tiger. an athlete Ooh. this is why this is what i think tiger woods is an athlete and he will always he'll go down as one of the greatest athletes of all time yeah but he is not athletic that okay i can get behind that but he is one of the most athletic golfers like he's in pretty good shape yeah but he's the greatest a- athlete of all time <laughs> but he's good. not athletic <laughs> he's probably the least athletic greatest yeah. athlete of all time you are a walking contradiction bro <laughs> you think it makes no sense the guy you're he what are you saying he's in good shape but he's not an athlete no he's in he's an athlete i think because he plays a sport at a pro level yeah he's an athlete and although, although it's golf right still an athlete but he's just not athletic 
What about like, like he's not going to be as athletic. Where, so like, where do you draw the line? Let's say someone who's like who works out and does like body you know, takes care takes care of the, how about this takes care of themselves, but they're the best darts player in the world. Athlete, but not athletic. So they fall in the same category. The best darts player in the world falls in the same category as T Woods. I don't think the best darts player in the world would have done as many feats at the level that Tiger Woods well, did. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying in yeah. this in this hypothetical world, he has he's dominated sure. the game for ten years in a row. Yeah. Okay. Then we're on the same. So page. athlete, but not athletic. Okay. I also have a spicy take. Yeah. I've gotten in this with a couple of people. <laughs> I think you need to be extremely athletic to play spike ball at the highest level. I think you need to be more athletic than an MLB pitcher to play spike ball. I need. I think you need to be more athletic than possibly an MLB like second baseman, even. Ooh, interesting. I think just overall, because baseball, what they'll see like maybe two balls, three balls a game, yeah. And then if if they even hit the ball, they can run. You don't want to pull me on that because I'm gonna get crazy over here. There, when any sport is 75 percent standing, that's what I'm you're, saying. You're traveling into dangerous, maybe pseudo sport with baseball. I can't. <laughs> I, like when I want a good nap, I put on a good ball game. I, think, I get right to sleep. I I'm think out. I think you need to be more athletic to play spike ball at the highest level than you do to run Olympic track and field. <laughs> That's crazy. An Olympian, a, an Olympic track athlete. Yep. Versus Gabe Fanaki, who's most athletic, who's more athletic, overall athletic. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm yeah, probably Usain Bolt. <laughs> But again, I also don't think but like that... overall athletic. Okay, they're really good at one aspect of being athletic, the running part. Right, but but you don't know the rest of their athletic background. Just like Gabe, we're taking and putting him in a spike ball bubble, and then he has this rest of this this history of calisthenics and other things that he's done. So Usain Bolt wanted to play soccer for Manchester United as a forward. They were thinking about signing him. Just point. because of his feet? Just yeah, just because of his feet. Just for the, the eye. But then the they realized he probably has bricks for feet. Yeah. So he probably <laughs> wouldn't be a good athlete playing yeah. any other athletic sport besides running. I think he'd be yeah. a pro soccer. Just not for Manchester. Yeah. Are you the one with the mic in front of your face? <laughs> he might have. That's just the crazy thing I've ever looked at. I think... I got a real weird thing with, with sports and people talk like sports for me are very, very... Like uh, for me, like swimming. There's so many different kinds of sports. And Track and field, like that's athletes. a race. It's actually wild. Like a a golfing event for me, it's more like they're like more like uh, precisionists, like someone who bowls or someone who's like very very um, precise. Like I brought up darts. I've brought we've brought up billiards. Yeah, and these like, are all athletes. The, yeah, of course, because you have to be in great shape. But they're just not athletic. Well, they no, 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 they don't have to be great shape. You have to be. In... These cornhole players, they're middle aged men with yeah, beer cornhole. guts. <laughs> they're oh, fantastic athletes yeah but they're not athletic we need a podcast one night all about what's a sport and what's not and what's <laughs> an athlete and what's not and levels of athleticism because we could go on too long for this cheerleading but yeah you definitely cheerleading have to be is play. interesting oh cheerleading i think I competition think cheer is 100 percent a sport yeah i could see cheerleading that. for your local high school basketball yeah team? no i'm not, not going i agree yep no i agree but competition cheer is definitely a sport yeah, I think so too. But yeah, I think spike ball you have to be athletic. <laughs> 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 Back to it, you have to be insanely athletic to play spike ball yeah. at the highest yeah. level. Highest level. I think sure. that is. A, I think it's a. It's a interesting but, take by Travis Core because I also don't really love those takes for people that are like removed from it. Yeah. And I know we talked about, and we're not going to throw anybody's fucking dirty laundry, but we talked about earlier someone in our community being like. Look at this. Can you imagine if yeah. I was in this plane? Yeah. It's the same thing he's doing. He's just like, seems to be like the competition's watered down. Yeah. Well, dude, you haven't fucking done anything. So what, yeah. what are you talking about? That's fair. I mean, yeah. It's also tough. I, I imagine, what do you think? No, I, I imagine from the outside looking in, it's really easy. Like like I was saying back in like 2016, I was watching like, oh, these guys aren't athletic. It's so easy from the outside. Like they just hit the ball up, you know, and stuff like that. But there's a lot more like technical nuance of like how you have to touch the ball like serving and stuff like that and hitting in general like avoiding the no hit zone and and stuff like that um so it's like a lot more nuanced you know especially now like being however many years he is removed from it it's like people have gotten better at like no hit zone hitting and things like that so we played it was a 
me, Scott Beeks versus Travis and uh, Henrik, obviously, hold that um, in like pickup in the middle of the tournament, you know, and like he just like pulls everything, you know, so it's like that won't fly, you know, people will read you, especially at the highest level. So it just depends. But I'm sure if he started playing again, maybe he could reach oh, that yeah. level again. But it is like you're saying, it's like tough to be like from the outside looking in saying all this, like, ah, you have to kind of prove something before you can start talking, you know? But Yeah, and I mean, and one thing, if he was like, let's say somebody like Chiswick, who won three times in a row, and he's just like, if I was doing this, you know, then it's like, all right, well, maybe we can listen to this guy for yeah, a little yeah. bit, you know? Even but then. Even then, is yeah. it, even then is it valid. Different game. Yeah, different yeah, game. Yeah, it's a different game. Look at Chiswick. Like, I, 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 I heard him on a podcast say if he and his ex-partner – um, Fitzy? Yeah, if CS... Oh, no, no, oh, CS. Okay. If they got back together and really grinded and committed as a team, like it would take them two, three months worth of training and no then shot. they'd be back on top. No shot. That's a crazy take. Now, I'd love to see it, but y'all y'all lost to the Jersey Boys this summer. Oh. Right? Yeah, well, we split with them in pool play. Oh, you did? Wait, we did, should have... We played sh- them in bracket, though. No, we should have beat them 2-0, but they, uh, they got the better of us game one. Yeah. It was close. We went to extras game one and then beat them game two. Yeah, I don't think I think it would take longer than two to three months. Maybe if they grinded, but then now you know they don't. They have lives and stuff like that, and wives. So it's just like children. Yeah, yeah. How are they no, going to no. be able to commit that kind of time for a sport that doesn't pay any money to play, let alone any money at all right now? <laughs> so, I right. mean, it's crazy. But I think I don't know. I don't think they would do that well without actually grinding you know it'd take longer than two to three months and then even back then they were saying they didn't play that much you know and like oh we're just so good naturally and They're stuff just cruising but then i'd be there every weekend in long island playing with tyler <laughs> and he's saying oh i don't play that much it's like mm. bro we play all the time what are you talking about so i don't know but yeah speaking of money i heard um that some of the winners from championship weekend still have not gotten their payout yeah really what do we think about that yeah. Do we know it to be definitely true? Yes. Yeah. As of two hours ago. All right. We can't throw around any. Don't throw no. around any names or right not. No, no, for sure. But it was. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, these. These winners haven't been paid out yet. For winning the championship. It obviously shows you the SDS Which, is in a bad spot. Financially. Yeah. And obviously, if they're not paying winners, they're not paying everyone below them either. You yeah. know, how long have they been holding out on money to pay people and stuff? And why are you advertising this amount of price pool and then not paying? Like, that's ridiculous. That money should have already been allocated for that. Because that, that changes things for people in general. Like, you know, maybe there's people like, what if Rogue is like, ah, oh, we're not going to go unless we could potentially win and earn our flight money back or whatever, you know? Right. And now they're not getting paid and that could, you know screw somebody over it's like how however much money how much did, was it for winning two grand each i think yeah i think it was five that's, i mean that's nothing 25, to scoff yeah. at. 25 each. that's a lot of money yeah it's a good amount of money you that know? pays for a whole trip and more well, yeah and yeah more for sure So, do you think that if the sts came out and released a season's worth of tournaments with the five majors and then the um x number of challengers the schedule comes out and then they make it very very clear that prize money is is next to nothing. It's just based off of registration. We're not going to be doing anything with the funding. Um, do you think that less high level players would be at the tournaments? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, at least they'd be honest for one. You know, <laughs> spike ball. But I mean, a lot of these teams are traveling from like out of the like state. You know, for every tournament. You know, and that, it starts to add add up. That was a big thing back in 2016, 2017, 2018. Is like a lot of the pro players that played back then aren't playing now pro relatively, you know, um, they didn't have pro division back then, but yeah. like the money starts to add up. You have to start doing something with your time and making more money and spike ball just kind of takes a back seat, right? Like I'm not expecting to play like four years from now because I'm not going to be making enough money to be able to travel every other weekend and then have a life also, you know? Like, people like uh, Strange Embrace, which is Jarrett Rouse and Devin, like, they have kids and stuff, and so, like, they're not going to go to a tournament every other weekend for next to no money, you know? Yep. Same with Preston. Preston moved on to Pickleball because every other weekend there's a $25,000 Pickleball tournament. Like, why wouldn't you just play Pickleball, 
you know, a lot easier on your body in general too. And did you think it had anything to do with him coming back to spike and kind of getting bodied a little bit? Preston? Yeah. Uh, yes, probably a little bit. I mean, he was so good, egotistical, but playing with the best in the world and not doing well first tournament. That's tough. Right, it's a tough look. Yeah, it is a tough look. But and I, I'm still just like, like I still hold a little bit of I'm like a grudge holder. I'm I hold a little bit down. of a grudge <laughs> against him because he shit on Max Modell. Like, oh yeah, that was dumb. Time. I remember that. And yeah. I was just like, that was nah. a while ago. It was a long time ago, but it just people don't forget. Yeah, yeah Max definitely forget. didn't forget. Yeah. You don't forget. <laughs> yeah, and then Max had like look at the Max. Best season look at Max of his now. career. Yeah, that was absurd to say. Uh, but he's a likes to say spicy takes. Yeah, Can, which is cool yeah. actually. I, I yeah. Content is content, you know. So yeah, yeah. That's Any true. press is good press. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think. I mean, would you guys travel if you know you're getting next to no money and if there were points on the line and like I knew, yeah, I would. I still would. You still would. Would yeah. the championship still have the normal amount of money? No. No, no. I'd say the whole thing. It's now you just be playing for bragging rights mm-hmm. essentially. I probably still would. Cause we, I love it. So yeah. like, you know what I mean? But it, but are there people out there that wouldn't? And yeah. maybe would the landscape change? A little I don't bit? think too many pros would actually stop coming. You think, you I think, think there'd so? be a couple, I, I don't know. like maybe don't five know. that would really stop traveling for it. But they all still play for the same way we do, like just for the love of the sport. Yeah, like a ton, I mean, a ton of them really do. Just like they'll come out and they won't, they won't get a ton of money from these challengers that they travel to. Yeah. Well, I know that some of them are doing like spike ball, like. Full time per se, you know, like Ryan Moreno play like he just plays spike ball right now, and that mm-hmm. that's where he gets his money, you know. So if there's no money involved, he's not able to just keep doing that, you know. And then maybe they still play, but far less, you know what I mean? Like they're not going to every major. They wouldn't travel as far. Yeah, they, they would travel to most, but not all, like they yeah. did last year. Yeah. And it's also different for us too, right? Like we're not podium at pro division, so like True. we're already going, you know. But we we're like, already losing money going. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it, it's different for different people, but it would be interesting to see that happen, though. I'm curious, especially because I feel like Spike Bull's kind of on a decline now after they like blew up in 2020. You know, I think less people are playing in general in tournaments. Maybe it's like relatively the same, but I think it's starting to dwindle down because, you know, you kind of get bored or Spike Bull's not paying out or you don't want to travel, whatever the case may be. You think that there's less people signing up for tournaments like just in general all across all divisions so you think last year let's say there was 15 tournaments yeah you think there was a there was less people last year that signed up in those 15 tournaments than the year before yeah i think so probably but i'm also pretty similar yeah it's probably pretty similar but but definitely like the definitely in the lower divisions you can really see it dwindling like the premier division was so was bigger this year than i think that it's ever been like just the most the most yeah. teams freaking signed up for it. And there was like 700 freaking Premier players, which is... 600 and some, I think. Crazy. There was like 200 when I got Premier. Oversaturated. And that was 2022. Getting it, yeah. I think I think getting it should be first, second, third. And then losing it, or, or holding on to it, I think should be more challenging. 100%. Yeah. And, then, they, and then you don't have to make a whole nother freaking division for the people that have worked hard to if get you make there C- and deserve to be there. If you make C bracket at a major, you should not be able to get. That was a that was a recall. Premier. Yeah, I, I got to get in the C bracket. And we had uh, we won our first round. So then I like asked Skyler like, "Oh, do we requalify?" He's like, "Oh yeah, for sure." I was like, "Oh, sick!" Like, I'll like take that. Yeah, see, no like, offense that, to you. No, 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 play no, no. Play that play is for play for play for play for play Yeah, like it is dumb, right? Like. That's terrible. It's oversaturated because so many people get it and no one's losing it, right? Because it's yeah. so easy to maintain. Like you guys, even at the Philly Major, you guys just gave up. Uh, you didn't make pro or A bracket, right? Yeah, so then you guys didn't, didn't play. So the team that was literally the sixty four seed got into Premier again next but year. But that team, that. that team actually yeah. ended up coming in second of that B bracket. Or of the bottom bracket, yeah, because so they 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 did well. I don't think they did, I don't think it was disqualifications all the way up. They, they at least two or three. I they heard they from beat, them. <laughs> but they did beat a team when it came down to like which is fair. I guess, yeah, yeah, semis. But, but there, it shouldn't even be on the line. Yeah, right. Yeah, B point. bracket shouldn't yeah, be, on it, it shouldn't be on the line. No, no, you shouldn't shouldn't get it for requalifying in B bracket, let alone C. Yeah, and like challengers, <laughs> challengers even it's like <laughs> if there's not enough for a B bracket, maybe the top half like get a recall they, if, if they win like if 
or like an upset or something. But you can't just or you something. It so it's got to be no something. Excuse. Like you get a I whole got season it this year in June, so I I have it for a for a year and six months. You know, if you can't make something happen in eighteen months, then you you, you are gone. Yeah, gone. I thought about like maybe they should do like a promotion and relegation system. Like imagine you, you get like bottom, like you get sixty four, sixty third, and sixty second. You get moved down to contender again. Like you can't, you have to requalify again. But I don't know. There's got to be a better way other than what they're doing because it's just like it's ridiculous at this point. But it is. You know, it's like not even. At, it doesn't feel like it did. No, so like yeah. earn premiere. Before it was like, oh, I'm kind of nasty. Before now. it was like, oh, you got premiere, you play at the highest level, you're pretty good. Yeah. Now it's like there are, there are premiere players who would not win a contender tournament this year. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. That's 100 percent true. Yeah. That's just can't, and that that shouldn't happen. Shout out Connor. <laughs> that's, not, that's not who I was he thinking of. That. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, <cut> that. <laughs> wild. <laughs> Keep it in. <laughs> We're keeping that in. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had a few discussions with other people. <laughs> Dude, I think he's. I, I would love to see Kyle Keenan play Connor. Dude, that'd be a wild matchup. Because I'll tell you what, Kyle starts playing well. Connor starts coming at his life. <laughs> 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 talking about his livelihood. <laughs> it's why we are shit real estate. Yeah, Kyle. you can't even sell <laughs> houses. Can't sell shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are good. they are funny together though. It's crazy. <laughs> I'll text Caleb right now. Yeah, text Caleb. See if we can get, we can get that, uh, get that phone call. Um, dang, bro. Yeah, we. So you, you want to play while we wait for Caleb? You're ready to go for this season. Yeah, I'm running yeah. back with uh, Marlon. Uh, go ahead. Are you keeping that under your? Oh, I don't care. No. You're cool with it. Yeah, yeah. It's open. Yeah, it's open. Open season. Yeah, uh, I'm playing with Marlon Fleming again. So if we're death, the Death Eaters, which is pretty sick. Um, have a whole little promo video ready to go whenever oh, we get ah, some. Dude. Yeah, it's yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it hypes me so up, bro. Good. You saw it? I did. I got. I haven't gotten to see. I'll show you. I'll show you later. Right, right, but so um, I just need clips from Marlon, and that guy doesn't film for jack shit, bastard. Um, <laughs> but we can yeah. relate to that. We can relate yeah. to that. There's a lot of us, <laughs> myself included. Uh, really films. Like, nobody films. Anthony's been filming. Yeah, and films, yeah. So, play with Marlon. Uh, hopefully, I think we could try to get Pro Division. That's like the ultimate goal, though maybe a little lofty. But um, we're playing this coming weekend, or not next weekend, the weekend after, December 16th in California, PRA tournament. So, that'll be good, like a test to see how good we are. You're playing December 16th. Yep. But you're not playing the Christmas Classic. California, yeah. Why? Uh, well, because Marlon's getting married December 22nd in California. So, I have to be there for that. So, he can't make the trip? No, you can't. Okay. All right. All right. Fair. 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 Um, but yeah, the Christmas classic looks pretty spicy. You're playing with Gabe, right? And then you and Mike. Mike and I are gonna. gonna yeah. Go. Mike Garrett. Yeah. Yep. That's sick. How you guys yeah. think you guys are gonna do? I just hope I don't get first rounded. That would be ideal, right? That Especially would. with Gabe. <laughs> yeah. People will talk. That's not out of the question. <laughs> I think I think round of eight is like a realistic goal. Okay. Round of eight. Depending on how well we do in pool play, I think it's it's possible. I haven't mean, looked at like how's the competition looking. Solid. Yeah, really we're strong. signed up. We have Kieran and Max, Will and who is he playing with? I don't remember per se. Hey Jay, we'll can get... we get the Fuego pulled up for the Christmas Classic? Christmas Classic. We'll get that pulled up. Uh, or Zach, Zach, you're trying. This yeah, is, this you. is your audition. Yeah, this is. <laughs> You're trying out for the, the He's, computer. Yeah, basically, computer as long version. as you get this to pull up, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you pull up the Flango Division for the Christmas Classic 2023? The answer is I don't have Wi-Fi. Oh, he's Shoot. failing. He's failing. <laughs> Actually, if, I think if you our, go for it, I think it'll allow us to share it with I you. I think our person is going to be uh, Jake is going to be our computer person for the future. <laughs> <laughs> What's the playing with Cade? What's the... Cade Larson, that's who it is. Yeah, Will and Cade. That's a good team. Yeah. Kieran and Max, that's a good team. Uh, uh, Clap is going right. Clap. Did he sign up yet? With Andrew Sullivan. Do you know Sullivan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Soli's good. A guy Andrew from Clap and Soli. Oh, really good. Yeah, gotcha. Decent player from this year. Up and yeah, coming. Player. Okay. Uh, shorter, taller. Uh, Ferreira is playing with Owen Lippman, I believe, from Bonhaus. Yeah, that's a good okay. one. What were you saying, Brent? That's solid team. Pack and <laughs> Pat Fazio. Oh. <laughs> These yeah. are Pack. 
Gross and AJ Martin. Oh, that's light. Light. I'm not worried. Ryan and <laughs> yeah, some two lemons. Ryan and Anthony. Hell yeah. Uh, any other like big dogs? Brendan, are you going? Yeah, we said that. Yeah, Kieran and Max, we have. But yeah, that's so, good competition. This isn't like a freebie. Yeah, it's not. That's who, do see, who do you see in the finals? Out of the teams you just heard. Uh, ideally, I'd like to see Matt and Gabe there. That'd be ideal. Um, and ooh, at the oh, end, and Max, right? And Maxime Prince. Yeah, yeah Max, I heard they're running right? in next season, good. right? That's what I heard. Dude, if that's true, I'm gonna be pissed off. Why? <laughs> We have to talk off the pod. <laughs> off I'm gonna be pod. pissed, bro. Um, I hope so, that's not happening. <laughs> ideally, I'd like to see. Yeah, Matt. wait. I thought Max Prince was playing with Gabe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we gotta stop this. <laughs> we gotta stop this, man. Caleb Shorter, Caleb Shorter is a good player too. Shay shorter Tart. and shorter. <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a last name, <laughs> bro. That's a good. See, I know Caleb Shorter. And he was it part be of a shorter. Sh- it should be short and shorter. Yeah, now it's shorter. But no, no. But Shaytar is shorter, so it's shorter and shortest. Shorter and Shorty. That should be the team name. Shorty. What is their team name? Short and then parentheses ER in the parentheses. Yeah, it could be. That'd be cool. Yeah. Justin Shortar. All right. So uh, I'll go. I'm going to go because we're never really going to have time to preview the Christmas classic. Our next week's episode is a little bit more like of a, of a slapper. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. We'll leave it a surprise. We'll leave it a surprise right now. Uh, dude. My final four, I'm going to go Pacone and Cade Larson. You guys. Ugh, probably that team from Canada, Prince and Etienne. And who was the other good one? Kieran and Max. Kieran and Max. That's my final four. In what order? I don't know. Yeah, Owen and Brendan's Owen, a good team. Good team, but they'll go out. They won't make it to semis. Interesting. Owen's nasty, bro. Brendan's also pretty good. They're they're good. Those are some really really good teams. Yeah. Good player. I can see Bingu, right? Sunny and um, Jared. Yeah. I can see them doing pretty good. They're only getting better. That's a pretty. It's a powerful team. I can see them doing well next season. So what's your tournament? What's the? Uh... Right now there's three teams signed up, but everyone in California signs up late. Gotcha. So I know Patrick Drucker is playing, old head, big, tall guy, like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, um, what? Yeah, you didn't know about that guy? He used I've to play with Chorn. Patrick Drucker? Yeah. He, uh, He's six, they were like a number two team at one point in 2018. Stop. Yeah, I swear. The guy would hit the ball. I remember playing him for the first time. It was like really? six feet, and you can lean. And it was just like, this is unfair. He's literally hitting from two feet away. It's like insane. Um, he Druck. Uh, could you... Could you pull him up? Yeah. I, I don't. He's he's private, and I uh, I guess I could request him, but he ain't gonna answer. It says Bay Area Patrick Drucker. Yeah, dude. Uh, I don't know. It's a PRA. It's in California. Yeah, dude. He's a tall Let me see though. This son of a bitch. <laughs> Drucker, Drucker. I think I've seen him. I've seen him before. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's playing with this guy named Kyle. Um, I imagine we'll get Josh Frag, Reggie Como out there. Uh, Buddy, you think he's gonna sign up? Maybe he played you, the. They did the California State Finals this past weekend, and he played in one with uh, somebody. So, but it doesn't matter who who's playing. We're we're gonna win. Yeah, is easily, that yeah, comfortably? Is, is that how? Damn, bro. Matt Orlip, if you know that guy, I've heard the name. Yeah, pretty good. There's some good competition in California, yeah. honestly. Nothing like Damn. the Christmas Classic, though. You're missing Christmas out. Classic, you're Maybe. gonna come th- come up stronger, wouldn't you say? Maybe it just depends on who signs up. Honestly, yeah, see me in a week. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, yeah, <laughs> when I'm here, uh, I'll check the Fuengo. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep you posted. Yeah. Also, fun little uh, little tidbit. Uh, I know you you made the trek all the way out here today, so kind of weird for you to ask you to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> but guess what? What's Making up? my return tomorrow. To the soccer field. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Since pre-COVID, so my buddy asked me to play in an indoor league, and I was like, ah, I really don't want to. They need a goalie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I yeah, <laughs> I I actually brought it up. So the kid who's running it, his little brother's playing goalie for our team. I don't know how good he is. We'll see. But it's it's indoor, but it's like on like a turf field, so it's oh, like, there's like out of bounds and stuff. It's not oh, like indoor where it's also kind of like hockey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I haven't played since 2000. Jeez probably 2019 so it's gonna be crazy 
So That's if fun. you're not doing anything tomorrow night, I think we're going to get together, maybe hit around and do something low key at the Fazio residence. Mm. And then Fazio lives 60 seconds from the indoor facility. Oh, really? So if you wanted to make the trek to the Foz land, oh, wait, Foz when land. do you leave? You leave I leave Friday? Friday morning, yeah. Well, you may have to pack and shit. Yeah. If but you don't have I any plans tomorrow, tonight. text me. Yeah, yeah, I'll hit you up. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be sick. Yeah, that would be cool. Our team should be okay, but we'll see. Yeah, I miss soccer, bro. Soccer's mad fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. I've been watching it a lot lately. Manchester and Philadelphia, it's, uh, it's so good. But. Dude, the union... The oh, Cincinnati, me Cincinnati didn't end up going through. No, it's crazy. Also, the, <laughs> ML, bro, the MLS did a replay thing where they were like, oh, VAR got it wrong. VAR. So, like, they watched the video replay. The guy was off sides by, like, four inches, three inches or some shit. It's like, why are we even doing this? Why are this? we using VAR? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. If you guys didn't know this, this is a round net podcast. We were just For talking about Tiger Woods' in. golf swing. <laughs> Tiger Woods. Um, <laughs> Bowling, darts. Yeah. Squeezing out about... all the juice in the world right now. Yeah, we're every freaking which way. Okay, so we can hop back on round it. Do we want to, though? <laughs> round it's kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously nice. getting sidetracked by cheerleading and Tiger Woods and hot takes. Who was your – let's go through a, a few of our awards. We'll wait, give it a few more minutes to wait on this text back. If it doesn't happen, don't happen. Uh who would you have put as your uh, 2023 server of the year? Uh, I don't know. It's hard, especially with recency bias of, like, Gabe popped off in uh, co-ed, right? It was serving yeah. Unreal. And then Grant Klapwick freaking destroyed in uh, the championship. So it's a little tough. I think it's probably between them two and maybe Vinny. But I, I don't know. Vinny's a pretty good server. I've only seen him a couple times. In real life, never played against him, but I've played against Grant and Gabe a lot. So I'd probably, just because they won the championship, go with Grant. You know, like, it's insane what he did. You know, he went through Rogue, went through Judgment Day. In system. In, in system. system. Like, that's some good wins, you know. No yeah, slouches. Um, <clears throat> so I'd probably have to go with probably Grant, you know. But Gabe's a close second for sure. But I'm a little biased since he's our boy. But Yep. Uh, who do you think had the cleanest jersey in 2023? Do you, could you cleanest remember a, a team that had jersey where you're like, that's pretty sweet? Or a um, club or a player? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, I did like Rogue's jerseys mostly because I've watched uh, Naruto, which is what it's all based off of. You nice. Know? Um, also, my boys love Ryan Moreno and Thomas. Pretty sick. Um, Critical Hit had some sick jerseys, though. The, that the was yellow my and black book. is pretty dope. I loved Critical Hits. Yeah, they, they're dope. Um, I probably, ooh, it's between them two. I didn't like Judgment Days that much. Um, what I, jerseys? They didn't yeah, have one. Yeah, they though. didn't have one even? <laughs> no, Dang. No. Classic. Classic game, honestly. Yeah. Um, Lemonade's jersey is pretty fire. Whoever designed that's pretty sick. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with probably, I'll go with Rogue, just to be different from Matt. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did you say? I forget. Critical hit. hit. Did you? Yes. Yeah, he did, for sure. Dang, bro. I Com- thought you said assist Our computer touch. guy knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I no. watched that one. <laughs> Max said assist of touch. Yeah, that's well, true. You said assist of touch the year before. My bad. Yes. Uh, did you yeah, see, if they would have stuck with it. Did you see any jerseys who were just like objectively bad? Like this, this year? Yeah, like this jersey does not it. Um, the ugliest jersey you can't say judge the day because they didn't even, <laughs> they have, didn't have, have a jersey. Uh... What jersey you wear, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> did I wear one? Dude, no, I did have one. I'll show you. Smoke and mirrors? No, I had one with uh, Ant, Ant at the right? Of the season. Black Lotus? Black Lotus. Black Lotus. Uh, Those are actually kind of fire. They were. I liked them. What did Prince wear? Prince wore black and white stripes? No, red and white. Red and white stripes? It was like red, like a hockey jersey vibe, where they had oh, like the stripe shit. here, and then they had oh, like, yeah, the yeah, sleeves. Yeah, yeah. It was like... Goo goo or whatever on the front. Yeah, so maybe that one. <laughs> yeah, that one wasn't that great. But they've been wearing it forever. That's the one thing I said oh. in the pod. Like they they've been wearing they've been playing for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. I played them. I went to Canada one time and played against them. No, oh, that's really. Basic. Yeah, I played them and beat them with a uh, Fred, the girl that played with Jordy a while back. Um, she serves like a robot backhand. I yeah, have you no know, idea. I would not about. know that. It was a good time. It was funny that we beat them because they were the one seed in our pool. <laughs> oh my gosh! It was back when I was nasty. Yeah, what year was that? That was twenty. 
19, I think. Yeah. The Prince have been around. Yeah, they've been around for a while. Uh, I'm surprised they were still playing, to be honest. I was hyped to see them in the pro division. Um, for, how, for the listener, how old are you, bro? I'm 29. About okay. to be 30 in like a few oh, days. Yeah. <laughs> He's 29 big Yeah, ones. I'm pretty old. It's crazy. My knees definitely feel it. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. 29. Make me feel young here. <laughs> I feel uncomfy. I'm uncomfy. I'm going to say it. <laughs> Sandwich between two old heads. Yeah, how old are I'm you, Josh? I'm uncomfy. I'm 32. Dang. Yeah. Birds of a feather, you know? <laughs> That's right. That's how we get That's along. we get along, yeah. <laughs> that is... I didn't. I I didn't think you were that old though. I would have said twenty seven. I would. Yeah, said I get a lot of like twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah. But like like uh, Corey, I'd say I'd say you and Corey are probably the same age. That would have. How been old's my Corey? Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. I actually thought Corey would have been maybe because he's got like that like teacher, maybe more like dad look. I thought he would have been like twenty six, twenty seven. I get a lot of like twenty fives for people thinking. You, yeah, you twenty five. Yeah, you could especially when you're How at you? work probably. Yeah, you look twenty-two. Like not in like oh my god, I would not have guessed that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's wild. You Dang. guys are ten years apart that hosting a podcast. Crazy. Yeah. Dang. He. Uh, so you were my my little sister. So I. There's a bunch of us. Another story for another day. But there's mm-hmm. eight of us, and my youngest sibling is ten years younger than me. So the youngest, Dang. like the baby in my family, is ten years younger than me. How many people are in your family? There's eight kids. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah, and then my mom and dad. Yeah. I was just a baby when you were 10. That's crazy. You graduated when high school? When, when month you were born? March. March what, 15th? No, 29th. 29th? Good guess, though. <laughs> Mark, <you're> so <laughs> confident. Like, oh, the 15th? No. I must, he was hoping, I, I must know somebody who was the 15th. Um, so you graduated high school 2009? Yes, 2009. Dang. 2019. 2019. That That's makes crazy. Sense. So you would have been 2011? 2012. 12. Yeah, I'm a year older than my, most of my class. In your class, okay. Yeah. Holy shit. Balls. All right. Well, glad we got that out of the way. We are. Yeah. We can cut all that. We are old on the <laughs> yes. Spike Lemonade podcast. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking for average. all of us. <laughs> on, average. on average. On average, we're at least 26. Something yeah, you like drag that. it down quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're you, still you help our average. You're welcome. <laughs> Um. Thank you so much for listening. Yep. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, of course. Be sure to check out the Meek Freak on Instagram, mm-hmm. as awesome. well as Spike Lemonade Pod on Instagram. Follow us on Spotify. Subscribe on YouTube. Yep. And check out all our Instagrams too: Matt Spo Roundnet and Josh Tito Roundnet. Let's um help us get big. Maybe we can get some sponsors going for the pod. If you like the podcast, all you have to do is press a button. <laughs> Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Like, um, comment, subscribe. Like, like comment, comment subscribe. subscribe. Everything. Do everything. Please comment, actually. Give us feedback. What do you like? What do you hate? Be honest, because then what we know will make it a better listen for you in the future. Would you believe that? If they were to just tell us what they like. But I, dude, you're absolutely yeah. right. Just This just hit me as we're thinking about it. We bring Zach on in that capacity. Doesn't he still have access to a mic? Yeah. Yeah, because that'd be cool too. Because then you're still a part of it, and you're like you're researching shit and whatnot. Yeah, we can do that. Because like you know, like I'm trying to think like when like you reference Theo Vaughn, and you know, yeah. what I mean? his guy's like, yeah, I'm getting it for you now. You hear him; it's not like he's just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, Riley, pull up a deer getting hit by a railroad <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guy's wild. Yeah, that's good stuff. Young Jamie, you know who Young Jamie is? No, he's the guy who does it for Joe Rogan. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yep, that's Zipper funny. from the yard. Yeah, that play. Yeah, you should, you sent me the pod. From yeah. the yard. I don't know that one. It's good. Great. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It's a it's a it's an entertainment based podcast. Gotcha. Like okay. a comedy drama. Like four it's friends good. basically. Four just friends talking. shooting the shit. Yeah. Right. It's great. Okay, so if you want more of Zach too, because Zach's gonna be around a lot. Uh, he's getting back into the competitive scene heavily this year. You'll see him all over tourneys. True. Let's say there's five majors. So let's say there's. 15 challengers, so there's 20 tournaments. How many are you going to be at? 20, I guess. I Let's go. Know. Nice. Yeah. Really? Uh, maybe. 2024, man of the year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go to everyone. Um, yeah, we'll see. It depends on how much Marlon go to and who I can snag for the other ones, you know? Right. Play a couple with maybe one of you guys. Maybe snag Gabe once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> maybe uh, I'll hit someone in the face and they'll call the surf bad again. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. 
That's awesome. Well, listen, uh, I, who cares what episode this is? It's been a great one. Do you know what it is, actually? 20. 20? Dang. The big 2 20th episode is pretty cool. So yeah, we're, we're moving big. and we're grooving. You will get one episode a week from us for the foreseeable future. Uh, next we don't have up, an off-season. Nah, no, no such no thing. No off-season. Because we're still grinding, grinding, we're still practicing. Next week, next week's, I guess it'd be two weeks from now. Next week's episode, normal proceedings. Two weeks from now's episode, when it airs, is a very, very good one. Spicy. Very, very, yeah, very fun. Somebody, everyone's going to know if you watch this podcast, you're going to know who they are. A lot of fun. A great guy. Uh, going to be big. Big stuff. Uh, so thank you for listening, Zach. Thank you very much for coming yeah, on. It's just Thanks the beginning of you. Yeah, absolutely. Being with us. Spike Lemonade Pod, episode 20. We're out of here. Deuces. Computer boy. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. He's like, I can't get it. I have it on the internet. PC boy. I don't have internet. <laughs> I can't, I can't yeah, get I access it. The Franco's not loading. Zach, pull up the Franco. It's not loading. We hear him clicking the space bar, like playing that dinosaur <laughs> game. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs>